Welcome back to our Citus Link Pro user guide series. This is our step-by-step -step guide to setup, patching, setting levels, recording cues, and much more. We just finished adding and patching your lights and selecting and creating DMX profiles. Welcome to Controlling the Light Parameters. Let's open up your project and the scene we have been working in. You should have already added a few light fixtures to your scene. If you haven't done so, let's patch at least five lights so we can work with them. Once you have your fixtures patched, they will be shown in the fixture list. The fixture list is all of the lights that you have patched into your scene. The fixture list shows your favorites, groups, and fixtures. If you click the double diagonal arrows in the top corner of the fixture list, the fixture window will expand to be full screen. The fixture list is the way that you select lights that you want to modify the light parameters. When selected, the fixtures will appear on the stage. We will talk about the stage in a moment. Deselecting fixtures in the fixture list removes them from the stage. Also, on the fixture list is the ability to select all fixtures that you have patched by pressing all at the top of the fixture window. At the top of the fixture list are your favorites. Favorites are the fixtures that you want to access frequently, like your key light and backlight. Add lights into your favorites box to keep them at the top of your fixture list. Simply drag the fixture from the fixture list and drop it into the favorites box to save it into the favorites. To remove a fixture from favorites, simply drag it out of the favorites list. A set it and forget it light doesn't need to be accessed often, so probably doesn't need to be in your favorites. Underneath the favorites are your groups. Groups are used to control multiple lights that are accessed frequently together, like all full color lights, all bi-color lights, or all LS600C Pros. To create a group, select the plus sign next to the fixtures label and choose Add Fixtures Group. Label your group and choose the fixtures you want to include in the group. On the stage, your new group now has its own slider. Changing this group slider will change the intensity and color of all fixtures in the group. You can double tap on a group slider to view the lights in the group and change their levels independently. Groups are used to control multiple lights together as though they are one fixture. Color and intensity changes to a group affects all the lights within the group. Fixtures can be saved into multiple groups. The last group master edited will affect the lights in that group. Let's record a group of our lights that represent all the lights coming in through a window and label them window lights. Now all four lights I have selected will be changed with the group slider. Group selection is temporary. If you change the group intensity and then change one of the grouped lights, the lights will listen to the last command given to the individual light. Editing and deleting groups is done with the management button. Tap the management button on the right menu, then tap the groups tab. Then click the three dots on the groups you wish to manage. Groups can also be moved to the favorites for easy selection. To do this, Drag and drop your group into the favorites box. When a group is recorded into a queue, it only records the individual levels of the grouped lights. It does not record the group master level. Next, let's talk about your primary area for editing fixtures. This is your stage. When you select a fixture from the fixture list, it appears on the stage. The stage is where you can see and set values for your lights. When fixtures are on your stage, the value is being sent as DMX to the lights on the network. When recording cues, it is recording the color and intensity of all the fixtures on the stage. Inside a Slink Pro, there are two areas where you can output DMX, from your running cues and from fixtures brought onto your stage. When you select a fixture from the fixture list to your stage, it will appear on the stage at 0% intensity and the default color values of the light. The light has been recorded into a cue it will appear on the stage at the current intensity and color that is outputting from that cue. We will go over cues in the next video. To remove a fixture from the stage, you can press the X at the top of the slider, or you can press clear in the bottom right corner to remove all fixtures from the stage. Both of these actions will result in the sliders being removed from the stage and the values on the stage to stop outputting. There's also a lock icon on each slider. This will lock the value and color to the stage. When a light is locked to the stage, it is not saved into a queue and cannot be removed from the stage until it is unlocked. When pressing the clear button in the bottom right hand corner, 
it will remove all sliders unless they are locked. Besides the stage, there's an area called backstage. Backstage can be used as a prepping area before sending lights onto the stage. Changing lights in backstage does not affect the lights on the stage. To start, let's clear our stage. Now, imagine the boss says, turn on that MC Pro to 50% blue. So you select the MC Pro from the fixture list or any light that you have patched, turn it to 50% and then tap blue. Well, what your boss didn't ask for was turn the light to 50% white and then make it blue. So this is where backstage can be helpful. So let's clear a stage again and then tap the word backstage. Now select the MC Pro to the backstage. Set it to 50%, which would be white right now, and then tap blue. Now you'll go from the backstage to the stage by tapping the word stage. This will turn the light on to 50% blue. Backstage is a prepping area to set the levels of multiple lights without having them output DMX, similar to a blind edit concept. Alternatively, with the boss's request, I could have set the light first to blue and then sent the intensity as well. When there are lights on the stage and you switch from stage to backstage, the lights on the stage will be frozen until returning from backstage. Let's clear our stage. Next, select the MC Pro and set it to 25% magenta. Now press backstage. The light will stay at 25% magenta. Next, we'll change the light to 100% orange. So we'll slide the slider up to 100% and then go over and tap orange. When I tap stage, the light that was frozen at 25% magenta will now change to its new value of 100% orange. To review, when lights are on the stage, the lights are receiving live changes. When backstage, the changes are not live until you return to the stage. The control parameters are the ways that you can set the color and intensity of the light. When we talk about color, it can mean the hue, saturation, and color temperature. Tap on a light from the fixture list to bring it to the stage and bring it up on the control parameters. Tap control to open the parameter groups. The parameter groups are control, gel, and effects. Control allows you to set the CCT, HSI, RGB, or color match values for your lights. The available color modes directly relate to the DMX profile selected for the light when patching. Under CCT, there are some quick color presets, sliders for intensity and CCT, and a slider for plus and minus green if your profile has it. You can choose the dimmer curve by selecting linear, exponential, logarithmic, and S-curve. Changing the dimmer curve changes the relationship to the linear steps and the output of the DMX. Linear is a one-to-one -one curve, a straight line. Exponential allows for more steps of dimming on the low end of the curve, less on the high end, Logarithmic allows for more steps of dimming on the high end of the curve and less on the low end. And S-curve allows for more steps on the low end and the high end with less steps in the middle. Generally speaking, keep it on linear unless the steps between dim levels are not what you prefer on your light. There's also a source button that has preset CCT shortcuts to lighting sources like halogen light bulb or overcast sky. Next is the HSI tab. HSI stands for Hue, Saturation, and Intensity. In this tab, you can set your hue and level of saturation for your color. You can also simply click on the color wheel to select a color. The closer into the center of the circle, the less saturated your color will be. When you find a color that you like, you can also press and hold on the color preview and drag it onto a color swatch to replace the current value. If your lights are patched in HSIC Plus or in XY, then those tabs will also appear across the top. Now, if we tap the green control button, it will show gel mode and effect mode. Under gel mode, this will show the estimated color presets according to different gels and colors. Select CTO slash B or gels from the top tabs to see the available choices. These presets can approximate the color temperature on the CCT tab and the hue and saturation on your HSI tab for full color fixtures. If there are additional parameters that are not yet available in Cytus Link Pro, you can switch over to the channel view in the top right corner by pressing the FV icon and selecting channel view to set the value of those DMX channels directly. The last option from the green parameter button is effects. Effects can be applied to each fixture. Effect enhancements and recording to cues will be available in future versions.
Presets allow you to save a color for easy recall later when needed. For example, if there was a sodium vapor look that you liked three weeks ago and you saved it as a preset, instead of trying to find that color again in the color wheel, simply select the light that you want to put the color into, tap the preset button on the right bar and choose your sodium look preset from the preset folder. You can even throw the same color on another type of fixture. Presets are considered global and Cytoslink Pro does the math for you to approximate the color between different light engines. Presets save the color value and also the intensity of the light selected. When applying the preset, you can choose to apply the saved intensity by selecting the Apply Brightness checkbox before tapping on a preset. Apply Brightness is off by default. Let's record a preset. Add a fixture to the stage, change the color to a deep purple. Let's save the new color preset by tapping Preset on the right menu. Next, along the bottom, press the green Save to Presets button. The preset will appear at the top of the list. Tap the three dots on the preset and let's rename it to Danger Purple. You can also mark presets as favorites that are then available in the Preset Favorites tab. You can now set levels and colors on your lights. Next, let's record these levels. Check out the next video for recording and running cues.